Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. I'm out here at Copar Yard, hopefully to find some gold mines, some great values, some good deals, a little less cars playing today. I'm just kidding, there's still cars out there, about 200 playing right here at this auction within 10 minutes. Auction's gonna start with like cutting it close, you know? That's definitely more exciting, but no big deal. We're gonna get out there. We have some electric cars, we have some Mustangs, some expensive cars, some a little more affordable cars. Whatever, whatever it takes to get that best value to make some money, because that's what we're about, you know, trying to make a living out here. But I think there's definitely some good potentials out there. Let's not waste any time and find our first vehicle. First on our list is this 2016 Toyota RAV4 Red. Definitely caught my eyes looking through the list. I was like, ooh, a nice little red car. Everybody loves a Toyota. So we have some rear damage, but just checking out the front, looking good so far. Nice. Side's a little dirty. But not bad. This side looks good. It's an all-wheel drive EXL. Pretty sweet. And there's the damage. Ooh. Quarter panel, rear trunk lid area. Definitely some suspension work right there, but it looks like it's all like bolt-on, bolt-off kind of thing. Not horrible. Rear door, tail light. See if this door even opens. Uh, uh, come on, buddy. Yeah, there it goes. So definitely took a little hit right there. Pushed it up. But no airbags deployed. That's nice. So definitely a little hard of a hit. Pushed it all in there. I don't know. Maybe. Depends on what it goes for. We'll have to see. Obviously, right? But a nice little Toyota. So that's just the first one on my list I want to check out. There's obviously more. No power. That's unfortunate. But not horrible. Not crazy damage. So far, I like it. Pretty clean. You know, not just needs a good little detail. Um, yeah. I don't know. Can't really start it, but kind of makes sense the damage in the rear. Everything else checks out. Let's keep going. Let's go find our next vehicle. Walking down the line. Next on our list, we have this 2018 Ford Mustang. Just a classic right here. Nice V8, 5.0. Definitely why I'm checking it out. But unfortunately, it looks like it got hit pretty good. You got curtain airbags, side airbags. The dash did not deploy, but oof. Looks rough in here. A little carbon fiber trims broke in. I don't know if that's like an aftermarket a little add-on maybe they did, but it's also a manual. What? Usually you don't have a wheel on the passenger side. That's all broken. Tire still looks good. Let's go check out the real bad side. This side looks good. But the passenger side, probably not so much. Nice little GT Mustang. Ooh, that is Definitely snapped off, so the whole rear differential needs to be replaced. Bodywork doesn't look horrible. The door, fender. And we got some damage right here in the front as well. That sucks. Let's pop that hood, see how much it got in there. It doesn't look horrible with the fender, headlight. Windshield washer tank's still there, so that's good. It's mainly the rear and the front suspension. Kind of hard to get in there to see what's going on. So low to the ground, but definitely has some work to do. Snapped off everything in the rear. Exhaust is full of dirt. Man, but this is still gonna go for a high dollar being the 5.0 manual. The bodywork doesn't look too bad. Choices, choices. How much time and effort and money do you want to put into it to fix it? And decisions you have to make really quick and on the fly. So there's definitely some pros, definitely some cons. I mean, being manual, 5.0, V8, awesome. Definitely a plus. GT, so it's pretty nice. But the airbag is being deployed. That rear being so bad. I don't know, keep an eye on it, but I doubt it. I don't think I'm gonna pick this up. We'll see. Let's see how much the final price goes for. Next on the list is actually a budget car. 
2017. I can't believe 2017 is already old, but this is a little F-150 right here is up for sale. A little service vehicle. Let's check it out. I mean, if you need a little truck for work, this is great. I know it's a little XL, but it's got a couple of little goodies on it. Don't know what that's for. I think it's like a power something. So if you're running the truck, you can still get power to it. Got some nice little toolboxes. Ladder rack with a little light on it. Well, another toolbox. Eight foot bed. Pretty sweet. A little cooler included. What the? Nice. A couple more little storage compartments for all your stuff. It's a great little service vehicle, but let's check out the bed. Yeah, right here. So I've seen this in the picture, so it could either have frame damage or this bed skin is just pushed in. Hopefully it's just the bed skin. That looks pretty straight right there, so that's nice. It looks like the frame is okay, but we'll check underneath. Hopefully this is just pushed in and the rear is okay. That'll be ideal. Yeah, it looks good from this point of view. It looks like it's just a bed skin. The rear differential looks a little wet. But not bad. Yeah, so far I'm liking it. Moving right along to our other damaged part, right here. And the picture of this wheel is just hanging around. Probably by that tie rod end right there. And let's look at the control arms. Look great. Just ripped it off. Sheesh. Definitely needs a knee assembly, but that's not too bad. That's not bad. Little lights in the front. Let's see if any airbags deployed. It looks good inside. It's got that pleather. Easier to clean. I'm surprised that's not vinyl. It's got carpet. You think it would be? It'd be easier to clean. <laughs> but yeah, electric parking brake. A couple little options here and there. Storage strobe. A couple of other little lights. Sweet. I think that's like a laptop attachment or something. Let's play it. Take it home. That'd be great. Dang guys, and just like that, let's watch it play. It is going at it. Uh, Canada really wants this thing. I don't know if they see something I don't see. I mean, it's nice, I guess. And it's a clean title, 100,000 miles on it. But still. <clears throat> I was gonna go for 3,500. It feels like they're just going and going and no stop. No sense of bidding it up too much. It's all good. The day just started, didn't pick it up, but no big deal. Hopefully there'll be more. Let's keep going. Woo wee. Check out this 2020 Mustang GT500 Shelby. This thing is totally smashed, but already at $20,000. I mean, it's got the carbon fiber wheels, the Brambo brakes, definitely fully loaded, but man, what's left? Maybe a headlight. Sheesh, this thing is smashed very well. So at this point, I would definitely call it a parts car. I guess the only thing left is this engine, which is, I guess, worth $20,000. Buried into there, that super snake. But man, piecing this back together, crazy expensive surprisingly the engine looks good hand built with pride gt500 I mean, this thing's already five years old i doubt you're gonna get this back in the road look at that frame rail parts car good old parts car carbon fiber wheels like i said are super cool but you already have two that are smashed three that are broken probably all four honestly <laughs> Check out that wing he used to have. It's a little mannequin or something, I don't know. Sheesh. Definitely was a cool car back in the day. I mean, it's still a cool car now. This, But this right here is definitely a parts car. I'm not even gonna go at it. I just wanna see the damage and see how much it goes for out of curiosity, because that's pretty crazy. Insurance is selling it and they're still in value because like I said, already $20,000 for this right here. That's crazy, but let's stay tuned to find out the price that it goes for. All right, guys, I'm all the way in the back and I want to check out a BMW. Unfortunately, it's all the way in the front. Oh, I will check it out last, but it's playing next. So I got to book it over there, check it out. Let's see if it's worth playing. Get my legs in, leg day in for sure. Oh yeah, get the steps. Let's go. 
<laughs> All right, made it, guys, with eight minutes to spare. 2014 BMW 428, minor dents and scratches. It says front damage. And right there is a little bit of damage. Yeah, a little sensor's messed up, I guess. The wheel looks kind of cambered in, so it probably hit the wheel. You can see that or not. A little older, but still nice. Why not, you know? This side looks good, except for that door. Moving around the car. Very minor, but hey, they salvaged it out. Tail light, a little bit busted. Some little details here and there. Nothing too crazy. There's power. 2014, so it's a little normal wear and tear. You can see scratches everywhere. Kind of rough. But let's see if it starts. Yeah, yeah, sounds healthy. Not bad. 114,000 miles on it. A little sunroof. I mean, it's a BMW. It's nice. Heated seats, automatic AC. Still a nice little daily driver. Probably bad on gas, but whatever. Got half a tank. Not horrible. Twin turbo power. A bit of oil stain right there, but not bad. It actually sounds healthy. It's okay, decent miles for a 14. HIDs. Well, at least one side's working. There's definitely a lot of little things which could add up, but that's playing probably five minutes from now, so let's just play and see what it goes for. All right, here we go. Something exciting, guys. 2021 Dodge Challenger. A little bit of front end damage, but this thing's got the V8 in it, so plenty of little horsepower. It looks like radiator's busted, AC condenser's busted, but do we have frame damage? That's the concern. Uh, it's hard to tell. I mean, the rebar's there, and that looks okay. So you can pop that hood open, see what's on the inside. But if that's the only damage, man, this thing's nice. Oh, got some rear end damage too. Okay. I guess just the bumper. A little bit in the rear quarter panel. A little dent there. These are the things you can't really see in pictures. So doing the legwork is nice, but overall this looks pretty solid. I'm happy about that. Sweet. We got some power. Ooh. There's some kind of bumper, either front bumper or rear bumper. Only 45,000 miles on it, which isn't bad at all. No airbags deployed. And seat belts are not locked up. Sweet. All right, got the hood open. That's the desirable engine right there, SRT. Like I said, plenty of power. Looks like we got no coolant, which makes sense. Our radiator is busted, but let's make sure it's got engine oil. Oh yeah, plenty of oil there, guys. That is awesome, that's what we wanna see. So that it doesn't have a little cooler in the front. Basically engine, yeah, there we go. Put that back in there, so. That's always a good sign when you have oil in the engine because we don't want that going bad. Let's see if we can start it. Let's see what it sounds like. That's so cool. It makes it so much cooler. Sweet. No check engine light. No airbag light. Sounds very healthy. Oh yeah. Dang, this thing's definitely sick. I like it. Wow guys, as I was checking out, this thing was actually playing the same time and already sold. Well, it didn't actually sell. The auction's over for 15,700. Someone won, it's on reserve. So they're gonna debate to let it go or not. So I mean, I think that's a fair price. This thing is not bad at all. Pretty sweet, but we'll see if they let it go. Maybe we'll get another chance to play at it. But yeah, the auction waits for no one. Gotta keep going. Man, hopefully we'll pick up something today. This is a 2015 Toyota 4Runner right here. We've got some damage right there. Definitely took a little hit. Radiator support. Let's see how bad it is in the inside. Nice, didn't look like it got too far in there. Upper radiator support. Frame looks good. That's nice and straight. Radiator, AC condenser, power steering fluid still there. Pretty sweet, not too bad over here, just more towards that fender side. 
over here, all these pieces, but not bad. Suspension looks good. SR5. It's got power seats. It has four-wheel drive. Pretty nice. Oh, this is this is really nice. Leather, black. Let's see if it'll start. Okay, we got power. Barely. 140,000 miles. A little high, a little high miles, but it's a Toyota. These things go for like 300K. Sunroof, heated seats, nice. But let's see if this thing, all right, so it's a four wheel drive, leather, it has third row seating, it'll be the full package. It's just so hard to tell. You can't really say, you don't really know. Man, I don't think so, but wait, 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 wait. There it is, guys, third row seating. Definitely the most desirable kind of thing for a forerunner. So four by four and third row seating. Ooh wee, full package right here, guys. I definitely want it now. So it's hard to tell in pictures if it's third row or not, so it's kind of like, yeah, but it's definitely a game changer. If you're trying to sell it, people are like, hey, is it a third row? They're like, nah, and they're like, I don't know. So it just really depends, but that definitely helps to have that. Damages aren't bad. I say we play it, and hopefully we'll win this, take it home. Get some parts. Oh yeah, should be a quick rebuild. So kind of a interesting situation here. We got ourselves a 2022 Chevy Trailblazer with weird damage. Let's check it out. So it's saying side and undercarriage damage. So let's check out the sides. So far so good. Pretty cool, I like the whole details on it. A little chrome, white top. Oh, there's the side damage right there. Hard to see in pictures, but yeah, that wheel is definitely sideways. And probably underneath, so that makes sense. We have the sideways active. I don't know what that means. Looks like we got power, so that's good. It's kind of a smaller SUV, a little bit of trunk space. Not bad. I was thinking for a family car, but honestly, I don't think we're all gonna fit in here. Curtain airbags deployed. Looks like all the airbags deployed. It's nice leather. I got four kids, so ain't gonna be enough space for me. But overall, it's pretty sweet. I just wanted to check it out. Why not? It's playing today. It's got a big old moonroof, so a lot of little options, power lift gate, all that good stuff, but it's a little small for me. And I really didn't see that in pictures, but it's not horrible. We'll see how much the final price goes for, but probably not gonna play it. That's okay. All right, all right, guys. Got ourselves a little 2018 Model 3 Tesla. In the wintertime, these definitely went down in Valley because of the whole getting stuck in the side of the road. So maybe we'll be able to pick one up. I know springtime's here, so we're in the south. I don't know if it's gonna affect us or not, but I think they're pretty cool. Definitely good on gas, if you know what I mean. But dang, look at that damage. Sheesh. So it's like you have a rim, but then you have a hubcap over the rim. Interesting idea. Yeah, it looks like it got in there pretty good. Cracked the glass. Cracked it pretty nicely too. I doubt there's power. It sounds like there is, but that door does not want to open. So that took a good hit. I'm just curious to see how much it's gonna go for. Being wrecked the way it is. Wow, that piece of plastic went through the door. Pretty cool. This side looks good. So you got curtain airbags, wheel airbag. I can see the knee airbag already. Nothing? Seriously? Locked? Can't even get inside to see what's going on. Looks like the dash airbag is okay. But it definitely took a hit. You know, these things are definitely expensive, the whole glass top roof, so that's nice. That looks to be okay. So, fairly not too old, but let's see how much it goes for, just out of curiosity. And another electric car, we got ourselves a 2023 Model Y, some front end damage, but I think the engine's okay. Just kidding, guys. There ain't no engine in there. It's a dual motor, so front end damage, that bumper, hood, 
headlight looks okay. Let's see how much these things go for, for sure. I'm definitely curious. I know they're still worth money. Why do they keep getting locked? That's crazy. Maybe the keys are inside and they don't want to lose the key because it's that little card. This one's nice though, dual motor. Don't really see the little cameras on the side, so it's a little self-driving and stuff. Got a couple of Teslas. We rebelled, but there's a little camera, okay. There they are. So it, it does. Camera's all around. It's pretty nice, but I still think it's gonna go high dollar. Even though the dash airbag deployed, wheel airbag deployed, front end damage. Still high, highly desirable. 15,000 South Carolina, 15.5, wow. 15.6, Germany's going at it. Germany and South Carolina, who would have thought? And then our Mustang's about to play too after that. Like I said, already over $20,000. Sheesh. It's almost at 50% of its value. So you're not even gonna get 100% of your value. Maybe 30K. If you're gonna sell it for, and it's already at $20,000. Well, 18,000. After fees, closer to 19. By the time we get it all fixed. Wow, somebody really wants it in South Carolina sold for 17.9. I'm surprised, that's a lot, but who knew? A different raw forward. Even check this one out, but it is going up. I think this is a newer body style. The one I checked out was a 16, the older body style. This is the prices of the cars. So we're waiting for that Shelby to play. Let's see. It's pretty cheap, but I didn't check it out, so I'm not gonna jump into this Toyota Raw 4. Who knows? What could be wrong with it? All right, guys. So this is the GT 500. I mean, totally smashed. But I guess this guy from New Jersey really wants it. Already bid it up, pure sale. So if he gets it, I'm not gonna challenge him. That's a lot. Ooh, somebody did. Iowa came out of nowhere. I'm just surprised because by the time we pull it all out, I mean, I guess it's still worth it for the engine. 21.5 parts car. All right, guys, back in the office. Basically, a lot of things are playing. Didn't win anything so far, but I really want that Forerunner. Man, it's really nice. Third row seating, 4x4, definitely ideal. Let's see, it's about to play after this Hyundai Sonata. Hopefully that'll end soon, and hopefully we'll pick something up, because all that time, all that effort. Here we go, guys. All right, let's get in the game. Wow, it's already kind of high. 9, 7, 9, 8. It's a 15 with almost 150,000 miles on it. Sheesh. Just get in the, get in the game, get in the game. Turkey's going against me. That's never good. Afghanistan. Here we go. I'm in. 10 6. This is a hot lot. 10 7. Out of country. Afghanistan. Wow. These yeah. things are going all over the world. Pretty crazy. All right. 11. I mean, that's, that's still really high. I don't know if I want to go much more than that, but come on. Pure sale. Let it go. Oh. Finland. Finland out of nowhere. I'm determined. The last one that I'm watching, I really want it. Wow. Wow. Here we go, 11-4 winning. Let it go. It's <laughs> just nerve-wracking, guys. Just basically messing with us. Here we go, 11-6. In it to win it. Almost, I love, almost, come on. Dang, guys, this is crazy. All I'm doing is getting bit up. <sighs> All right, 11-9. I really don't want to go more than 12, but 11-9, 11-9. Let it go. Pure sale right there and... No way. That was it. Come on. A great car. Honestly, I think they're still... Sold. <sighs> That's crazy. I, I don't get it. Like... <sighs> That's fine. They can have it. Can't win them all. Honestly, gotta count the cost. There are still plenty of cars to play out there. Copart and different insurance auctions, whatever. But, man. Disappointing. But, hey. Not everything's a winner. But all right, guys, that's a wrap. Basically, can't win them all. You know, you got to know when to quit it, get out, because I think after the parts, it's not high miles. It's not even worth the time, honestly. Maybe a little bit, but it really depends. And at the market high and stuff, we're trying to get the best deals. So, unfortunately, that's all for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. We do get some new builds, some stuff we fix, some stuff, you know, we just get it done, move on. Wow, can't believe we didn't win anything. That's kind of disappointing, but. 
hey, it comes with experience that, you know, rather get that initial good price at the beginning because later it's just going to add up and there's more surprises. And usually they're not good surprises. So that happens. But leave some comments down below, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.